How to use Miracast Screen Mirroring from Windows or Android Miracast is a wireless display standard that comes standard with Windows 8.1, Android 4.2, and later versions of these operating systems. Casting your screen should be simple if you have a Miracast receiver plugged into a TV or another display nearby. This capability is also available on Amazon's Fire OS smartphones and Microsoft's Windows Phone 8.1 and subsequent handsets. Keep in mind that Miracast is notoriously difficult to use Windows 8.1 Plus. Miracast should be supported if your machine arrived with Windows 8.1 or Windows RT 8.1. Miracast support may or may not be available if you've upgraded an older PC to Windows 8.1. Before you see the Add a Wireless Display option below, you may need to update your drivers from Windows Update or your computer manufacturer's website. We couldn't see the below option until we deleted VirtualBox from our Surface Pro 2. Miracast requires a clean networking stack, thus programs that interfere with the networking stack such as VirtualBox, VMware, and similar products, may need to be uninstalled before this option appears. Swipe in from the right or press Windows key plus C and select the device's charm to get the Miracast options. Select Project from the drop-down menu, open the device's charm, touch or click the Project option, and then click the Disconnect button under the wireless display to disconnect. These parameters can also be found in the PC settings menu. To get to it, go to the bottom of the settings charm and click or press the change PC settings link. Go to computers and devices greater than devices. Tap add a device to look for nearby Miracast receivers. On this screen, the Miracast receivers you've added appear under projectors. Android 4.2 Plus Miracast is compatible with Android 4.2 Jelly Bean and newer versions of the operating system. Because Android devices require specific hardware, your Android phone or tablet may not be able to handle Miracast, especially if it's an older device that hasn't been updated to the latest Android versions. This test was carried out on a Nexus 4 running Android 4.4.4. To begin, go to your device's settings screen, which is found in your app drawer as the settings app. Tap Display in the Device section. Scroll down to Cast Screen on the Display screen. You can also cast to Chromecast devices from here, albeit Chromecast doesn't support Miracast. Select Enable Wireless Display from the menu button at the top of your screen. Your phone will look for Miracast devices in the area and list them under Cast Screen. It should display in the list if your Miracast receiver is turned on and close by. To connect, Tap the gadget and start casting your screen. A visible indication that you're casting your screen will display as a notification. To stop casting your screen, pull down the notification shade at the top of your screen and tap the disconnect button. If you've activated the wireless display feature under cast screen, you can also cast from the quick settings screen. To activate quick settings, Pull down with two fingers from the top of your screen, hit the cast screen button, and you'll see a list of nearby devices to cast to. To begin casting, tap one of the buttons. It should be this simple if your computer, smartphone, or tablet supports Miracast and you have a Miracast receiver nearby. Because Miracast uses Wi-Fi Direct, the devices don't even need to be connected to the same network to interact. Problems with your home network or router should not be a consideration. Even if they connect, Miracast-enabled devices frequently refuse to function together or have problems with playback glitches and dropped broadcasts. Miracast is clumsy and buggy in practice. It's possible that you'll need to double-check that your receiver supports the specific device you're trying to cast to. This is something that, with an open standard like Miracast, shouldn't be essential, but unfortunately appears to be. Roku, for example, has a list of devices that have been officially tested and approved to function with their Miracast implementation on their website. Check the documentation for your Miracast receiver to see if your device is officially supported or if there are any known issues with it.